Hello everybody and welcome back to another City Skylines episode with me Vesco here today I have some bad news actually I just have some bad news so I recorded a video yesterday and I used my green screen and I turned my camera on and unfortunately I guess the OBS did not like that for some random reason so it corrupted the video so all the stuff that I have done I will now have to quickly cover in this episode with no webcam because the game does not like that which is unfortunate and i was going to edit that video today which is also unfortunate that i am not able to do that i am been pretty far behind in editing so hopefully you can forgive me but today as i said we're going to quickly go over what i have done okay and i wanted to capture the city in the night time this is looking pretty fresh look at that Look at those lights up there too. There you go, looking pretty fresh. Our cemeteries are filling up and I don't have a way. I'm gonna put this on one speed so they don't actually uh, level up too fast and whatever else. I'll put it on two, so they don't level up too fast. I wanna know if I have my cemeteries unlocked first. I do before I go any further because I need the cemeteries and I need them right now. That would be great. So what the cemeteries do, is when your cemetery, or sorry, not the cemetery, the crematoriums, when your cemeteries fill up, they have to be put somewhere, like this one over here, okay? And if you let these go too far, you can see I already have three filled up right there. Literally almost straight in a row, straight diagonal. But if I put these in, and I should probably put them hopefully somewhere near The cemetery would be good so they can just take it and dump it right into there or not dump but they can take it and cremate them there instead and empty the building out so i am going to lose some housing but it's for the greater good hopefully that will do its thing and i'm not going to put it on empty because if i do that it might start filling up other stuff and i don't want that i know that yesterday we talked about our forestry it did level up to level two i also added in some newer buildings okay for the or far yeah forestry i said it right this time so i added in the workers barracks which i put i think over here i added in about two maybe three two here we go <clears throat> a place for the workers to stay right i added in this little guy right here oh no, no i didn't that's the main building i didn't add in that i added in this guy over here i did uh the pallet plant which takes the raw forestry turns it into paper and then i put a warehouse beside that i then put a unique factory that takes the timber and the paper and puts makes it into furniture i put a warehouse next to that oh that's not for the right thing that's for zone forestry that should be over here what's this for zone forestry this is not the right thing hold up i meant for that to be unique factories Okay, hopefully it takes that and it takes it and puts it somewhere else that was supposed to be for unique factory products hopefully it takes it from here and puts it in there we'll see how it goes hopefully it doesn't take it from over there and put it over or over here and put it over there but like i said we'll see how it goes so i added in that building making us a little bit more money uh warehouse for the timber i didn't add in those i put in a log yard here and i put in a sawdust storage so this one i think that one was already there. This one holds a bit more. Okay, so it's just storage for your forestry products. That's it. I, it looks like I might have to add another one to be honest, which I think I will do. I'll just add in one more. What is it called? Sawdust storage. Okay, I'll add in one more sawdust storage because it only holds a little bit more. There we go. And it can be imported, but like I said, we'll just take it and we'll just see how that goes. And then you got these two plain timber needs more forestry products so hopefully that'll get emptied into here uh, i put in a fire cop helicopter over here because there was when i loaded the game this whole area here was on fire and there was no, no trees or anything they could still work they were still growing these kind of buildings these zone industry the zone forestry i mean and then after i added in uh, a tree sapling there and then i that's a greenhouse one and then i added in a tree sapling over here 
to produce more raw forestry products. This probably needs to go in here somewhere, but there we go. That should probably go in there with the trees anyway. That's great. And that's pretty much it. And it's just working fine. It's doing its thing. Except for that, not it's not getting enough timber. Okay, so this is getting way too much. Let's just put this on empty. And then empty. And we'll keep that on balance and see what happens. This area over here. This area is our... Our, um, what is it called? Our, spe our leisure specialization, I'm pretty sure. Is that what it's called? Not that one. Yeah, right here. Yeah, our leisure specialization. I put it in over here. Away from all the other noises, and I'm either going to expand this or do what the heck was that? Or do something else with it. I don't know what the heck that was. But we'll see how that goes. So far it's going okay. What I did was I took the district tool, I painted a district, I went over to the liege this tab right here, commercial specializations. I clicked on the leisure and I just clicked it, and there we go. We have a leisure district. That's all I did for that. Then I add in these fishing things, which they really liked. If I, can I still, can I show the, uh, I can. They really like the fishing stuff. They like this kind of stuff. The jet skis and whatever water stuff. They like that. So hopefully this stays and goes over that way and keeps going that way. But I might take these out because eventually I'm going to want to actually use this. And I don't want it full of the brown poo that goes on for miles. As you can see, way the heck down there. We went over and we made a park. Nothing too special, nothing too hard. Oh, it's already level three already. Wow. Nice. Okay. So I put the main gate right here. This is the main gate. Oh, I should probably put up the daytime. That would probably be great for y'all to see my bad. There we go. So I put in the main gate right here. That's how you start your park. What you have to do first is you have to get the district for it, which over oh, right here, you have to paint your park district, which is what I did right there. And then I plopped the main gate, which unlocked a bunch of other stuff in the parks and plazas tab right here. City park. And it just kept plopping in stuff. So at each exit, as you can see, each exit, there's an exit here. An exit over here somewhere right there. Entrance and exits, they act the same way. But they have multiple ways to go. And then because I had this water over here, I just made a pathway going from inside the park up and around and all that fun stuff. What we could actually do here is we could is this a parking plaza. Yeah. Take this and put it over there. And then we will put back if we can. If not. There we go. And there we go. Now they have two ways to go. Oh, I can't do nothing about the height of the path. It is what it is. So yeah, that's basically what I did. And then I put in some park stuff to make it look nice, to make it look pretty. I ramped up the tickets, which I might have ramped it up a little bit too high. But either way, I still ramped it up. Uh, I just need some more visitors. The entertainment level's okay. I will add in some more entertainment stuff if I can. Which is just these things. That's all I got. I think that was new. Is these things. Nothing too special. And then I just added in some. Benches and stuff all around. Some whatever. I'm not going to do like. I'm not going to decorate this area or anything. I'm going to just leave it like this for now. And then offline I'm going to decorate it. And do whatever I want with it. I'm not recording. So. Or I might record it and just make a little speed clip. And upload that speed clip. Like I said in the video. And then I put in these roads right here. So they go from tree all the way around the park, the main area. And then there's trees going down here too. And then as they go off, they go from trees and eventually right down into just grass. That's it. Trees into grass. That's all they do. So that's basically what I did. And then I filled in an L shape right here. I didn't do a whole lot with it, but I just filled it in. And then I ended the episode right there is what I did. So, now that we're all caught up, only took about 10 minutes, that's where we're at right now. Now in this episode, I wanted to start doing the downtown area, okay? And I wanted this park here to be kind of the separator between 
these buildings and this building and i also i'm pretty sure unlock yeah i did unlock this tile right here so i can use this whole area right here and i do actually want to get rid of these and this because i don't want it there if you have the dlc you will want to add in your inland water treatment plants which is this one right here advanced inland water treatment i'm gonna close that one two okay make sure they're connected with a pipe like so okay and then we're gonna delete these because we want them to go the heck away <laughs> Yeah, that should be okay right there we go perfect we're back up to regular stuff the water is going very very low but it is what it is so hopefully this will all go away all that sewage and then we'll get a nice little uh little strip or something going on over here that'll be great so let's get into building this area first of all i am going to start with this two-way road so I'm going to upgrade these roads that are already here. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to continue this down this way. All right, and there we go. That's the basic layout. It's nothing special. It's, it's a how to video. So it's not supposed to look like anything really massive or anything really big. It's just supposed to Kind of give you an estimate of what to do. So the first thing we're going to do is going to pause it. We're going to put all of our big zone areas right in front of. I don't want to paint too much. Let's just fill the demands first, actually. Terrible idea. Let's just fill the demands first. So right now they want residential. I know that I don't want residential on any of the main roads. So I'm going to put some here, some here, some over here. We get out of our big hospital and our big fire and our big police, which I think is this one. And that should cover that area very nicely. You do also want to do pass and stuff, but like I said, this is more of a how to kind of thing. So we're not going to go full creative mode. We're not going to go anything big. It's just going to be here. It is. This is the ideas you could do. You can work with. And just have at it kind of thing right basically what's gonna happen there's a community school over here you can put as much as you want of this stuff in here it doesn't matter 100 percent doesn't fully matter prison you probably don't want to put there though cemeteries cemetery there we'll put a cemetery over here we'll put in one of these bad boys over here one of these bad boys over here. Crematorium next to the cemetery. We'll put another cemetery. Crematorium next to that. Put in one of those. The Swana. I want the helicopter. Sports gym hall. Community pool. All the stuff that pretty much increases land value. Yoga garden. Who doesn't want a yoga garden? There you go. All the stuff that pretty much increases land value. We'll get into these later. Not right now, but there you have it. There you go. You're pretty much your basic layout, right? Then you just fill in stuff around that. That's basically it. Just fill in stuff around that. See how it goes. There we go. I'm going to take some of this district here. I'm going to take everything actually that's kind of invisible to the park anyway. Like not that much, I would say. Go into policies and we're going to do high tech housing. And I think that's it for there. And we're also going to try and do self-sufficient buildings. Okay. And then we're also going to cover in probably over here this little area right here right here is going to be our it cluster 
and then we'll do tourism somewhere else not sure where to do that yet maybe on this side of the road maybe somewhere up over here but we'll do tourism somewhere else we'll do the cargo and the train stuff somewhere else but right now this is this is not bad okay let's look at the traffic the traffic is at 92 right now so we want to meet the demands that we have at the moment for these six lane roads i will put the bike pass the bike paths are a dlc though so just because i don't really have anything else here i'm going to just make the top parts all bike lane and then the outside road which i don't have connected anywhere else but this will start to also be a bike lane as well i guess we got a little bit of residential a little bit of it we set our zones are in our uh districts i mean we set our districts to do certain things there we go um i wonder how much i could make uh let's just put this out of the way we'll bring this down here and do this there we go and then uh maybe in this little area right here we'll do another district and then I'll show off the modern city center. I don't know how to set that up. I actually kind of forgot, but I also want these to be self-sufficient buildings, which is in the districts right over here. That's self-sufficient. And we'll just plop in some of these some commercial. And some residential in that district just to show you just to show you what it'll look like i do want to cover one more thing in this district here i think in a district not sure what district in a district i don't want the buildings to be too high right along here we'll go back a little bit more this district i want them to be small little buildings so we'll make it high-rise ban we'll make it uh, self-sufficient as well they produce less income though that's the thing I won't make the middle area self-sufficient then or this uh, the middle could be self-sufficient I won't make this self-sufficient uh, and I'll make these self sufficient just to see what they look like. That's it. Just to give it some more variety and what they look like. We'll just let that build up. And uh, I'm going to end the video there because, like I said, I only wanted to cover the downtown in this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.